Hey, I want to show how to uh, create some Rec Room Studio objects and um, make some scripting on them in an easy way. So I, I prepped uh, you know, a coin and a door. I got a door, I got a prefab, double click that. Uh, this guy has an animator attached to it. Um, controller looks like this, has an entry point goes to close to, from close to open. I have conditions to say open. I have a bool in here in parameters called open. Uh, I'm gonna attach this over here. And uh, so yeah, so this, this guy can go, uh, can play different animations and go via the open and close state. So uh, this is a normal object right now, but I'm gonna make it into a rec room object uh, like that. Just add that component to it. Now I want to make some um, some events for it, so I want to be able to make an event that is called open. I'm going to do this, uh, um, and the open is going to kick off an animation. So I'm going to make a string, a Unity event that takes a string and a bool, and this is for calling a function inside our animator. Um, so let's say we start with we're going to call this event open, uh, and Let's add the Unity event. We're going to do it on the root object here. I'm going to call the animator. I'm going to use these functions up here. These are the dynamic ones. Uh, set bool, which is a function on the animation. That, that animation function takes a parameter and a value. The parameter I want to set in is the name of this. So that one is also called open. And I'm going to set the parameter to be uh, true. So I set the default values here. I'll show you some of this stuff in a minute, but let's add one more event. I'm going to add a close one. So same thing, string bool. I'm going to call this one close. Uh, that's going to call the same, the same parameter. I'm going to leave this out because it's going to say false to it. And I need to actually hook up the function here animator that same thing cool i can call open i can call close and um, it's going to call functions on the animator if i go out here i'm going to save this now let's place this door in here see what happens it makes it into the orange scene it's now a rec room object uh, and i have a board up here it's facing this direction. Um, this board, I can now click on it and I can go into our circuit editor. I'm gonna place this one over here. Uh, and I click this button to show me that board. This is what the board looks like. Has a has my my open and my close and a bunch of parameters I can pass in it goes out. If I double click this, I'll go inside and I see we auto populated uh, this board like this. It's going to call these studio event senders with the strings and so populated this event name in here. It's going to send that and then the parameters I want to pass in. Uh, so it's good, but I don't want to, I don't want all these parameters in here. I don't want to, I don't want to have to say open and those bulls. And I did, did set the, uh, default uh, parameter. So let's go back into the door here. Um, and uh, if we look at the the events that I specify, I specify an open and a close. The open has a board config that says show. I want to show it, but I, I don't want to hide it completely, but I want to hide my parameters. When I hide parameters, it's going to just punch in these, these parameters for me. And then let's do that for this one as well. Hide both of them. There we go. Let's go out, save. Nothing's happened because by default, we don't, we already populate. You might've put extra stuff in this board. So we don't want to populate by default, but we do have ways of, of populating with the new stuff. So right click on the door. There's a rec room studio. I can say remake it and it says it did it. And now much cleaner, open, close. If I go into it, you can see it's actually yeah, it's just using a simple sender because it has all the default values. So nice. So I got I got that one ready. 
uh, and call open and close and it'll animate uh, however I want. Let's take a peek at, let's do the, door, the coin. So I'll do the coin, double click that thing. <coughs> uh, I'm going to do the same. This one just has an animation that it's, uh, it's going to be some spinning and bouncing. I'm going to add rec room object to this one as well. With a coin, I want to be able to pick it up or uh, or walk over it, and it's going to disappear. So let's add, add an event. Um, I want to be able to to tell it to uh, to hide. So when I pick it up, I'm going to do I'm going to tell it to hide, uh, and I want to add that event. So I'm going to put in the coin um, no. <clears throat> actually take that back I'm gonna take this object I don't want to actually do anything to the root object but because I'm, I'm gonna do something kind of uh, bad here I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell it to be active so I'm actually so I'm gonna Tell, so if I hide it, I'm going to tell it to not be active anymore. And I don't want to do it on the root object. I want to do it on this this child object. The root object has more more stuff that the game needs to know about. So I don't want to turn turn that whole thing off. I'm just going to turn this off. Uh, let's do another event. This one has no parameter either. So that's the the opposite here. Show uh, and take that. Take that object again, and I'm going to say to the game object, set active, and now I'm going to click this thing to say true, that one was false. <clears throat> I'm going to do one more thing here. We have this new the properties. Click on this property. I'm going to make, uh, I can I'm gonna ask the object for something. So I'm going to say, if it is showing, uh, and with that, I'll point it at this guy, property, game object, active, self, it's going to say, so this is going to return if it's active self, so I'll hide it, it's going to be false, and I'm going to show it, it's going to be true again. Um, and then let's go out, save it. If we go in here now, let's drop in a coin. A coin. Oh, it's the. Uh, it acts weird because I need to give this a, a collision. So let's do that. Um, this 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 coin doesn't come with a collision. Let's let's add a collision here. I'm just gonna do uh, maybe a sphere collider. Boom. And let's make that small. All right. I'm not actually going to use this collider, but the, the system needs it to uh, be able to calculate some properties for it. Uh, so let's leave it like that. Now let's try this again. Coin comes in. Okay, everything looks better. I got my my board. It's right there. Uh, if I click this thing to view it, it's going to say coin right there. It's got a hide. It's got a show. It's got an output for is showing. Um, and I think we're good, good for. Uh, and we look look inside here and see how. Yeah, it's got that that property reader. Everything is, all the values are filled out for you. It's ready to be used.